Science for Society Collective um, Conversations series is an initiative that we've pulled together to create a space or a platform to bring together the different and diverse voices, to bring together perspectives and insights from different um, sectors of society. So this has been designed as a series. Today is the launch of the initiative. We will be hosting these on a quarterly basis and with different um, topics and or areas of focus, but all aligned to the sustainable development goals as well as the imperatives of um, the Africa Agenda for 2063. You've got um, policymakers that will help to steer um, the direction in terms of how do we then take all these insights from research and integrate them into national strategies and, and programs and you have the citizens that have the insights and deep understanding of what the issues are. They, are, they experience the challenges that we are seeking to address. So we wanna hear their voice and also co-create the solutions um, with them. So in terms of the role sort of science research play in shaping public policy, um, I think it's really interesting because it's often been very top down, what we call sort of ivory tower. Uh, and then what we have are these one size fit all kind of theories and approaches to what's actually going on. Um, it's really important that we begin to see knowledge and science as being more inclusive, more inclusive of other ways of knowing, more inclusive of, if you want, uh, uh, I guess academically we'd call it being more pluri-epistemic, so beginning to understand there are different ways of knowing and our knowledge is not the only knowledge that's there uh, and in fact it's quite inadequate often for addressing the kinds of issues people are facing in society. So I think it becomes important to have an inclusive space where we can talk about knowledges uh, that include different actors. So the academy is not a place to sort of deliver knowledge but a place to build, to co-build, to co-create the knowledges we need. So UCT has uh, at the heart of its challenge to be a university for Africa, from Africa, is to figure out how to change its very DNA, how to change its identity, because we are, if all truth be told, still in the cast of the university system that grew up in the European context 250 years ago. And that is simply not good enough in a context where we've got to build deep and meaningful partnerships with the private sector, with society, with households, with the state. And this questions everything in terms of how we function as a university, our research is funded, our questions are formulated, our knowledge is validated. So our job is really to build practical partnerships around specific problems so that we can learn how to recast the functioning of the university in relation to society.